right, um, this is a quick little review and intubation. Uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on equipment as far as the endotracheal tube, what you'll need to intubate. Um, this is more about the technique. Um, and I'm using um, our CMAC video laryngoscope um, so that you guys can see what I see. But first, before we start, I want to just review where, what the vollecula is and why it's important. So the vollecula is right at the base of the tongue, where the tongue connects right above the epiglottis. So when you're using a Macintosh blade, the biggest, the biggest mistake I usually see is when people go and they dive bomb to bury the blade. And then they're looking and you're actually covering up things that you need. What I like to do is to kind of advance and lift so I can see my landmarks. See how I can see where the blade needs to go now? It needs to go right at the base of the tongue. And when you get it at the base of the tongue and you lift upward, never back. Always away from you and up, it'll lift that epiglottis right there. And that's where we want to go. That's the glottis, and the cords, you can see them in there. So this lifting upward, you can see what it does to the epiglottis. Lifts it up create more space and so the other big thing sometimes well most of the time your adrenaline is pumping you're thinking I got to get the blade in there and you're concentrated on getting the blade in there but we've already forgotten to get this guy sniffing for us okay so notice I didn't just go and then or Never pulling back. Always lifting and away. Always lifting and away. And if you get this in the, right at the vollecula of the tongue, it doesn't take much strength. Um, it's all about technique and positioning. So as we advance, what you're going to see on the screen here is tongue. I'm advancing, lifting. See, I'm just flipping around right there. There's the epiglottis getting at the vollecula, and when it's right there and I'm lifting straight up, you got a perfect view right there. So, let's see what it looks like in this guy. This guy's a little bit more challenging to intubate. It's a fairly new intubation head, so things don't move quite as well. So, what you're going to do is you're going to see what I'm seeing. There's the tongue. See, I'm not dive bombing and going crazy, but just nice and easy landmark. So this is why I'm doing this. I can identify landmarks. I know what's underneath that. I know exactly what's underneath that. So then I'm gonna grab the blade, visualize it go right through the cords. Almost, you don't even need a chest x-ray for confirmation on that. That's a guarantee you know where that thing is at, right? And at the right depth. See the line there just in front of the word portex? That's where the cords are supposed to go. So you feel safe to go with this. So take home message is this. Um, don't forget to lift and sniff. And sniffing is not just pulling the head back, it's also lifting the head forward. Lift and sniff, <clears throat> and take your time. Advance, advance and lift away from you, and that'll open right up for you. There's intubation.